Hey everyone, today we have three Garmin handheld GPS units and we're going to take a look at some of the similarities and differences between them. We have the Garmin Monterra, which is the one in the middle, the Garmin Montana, which is the one on the right, and on the left you have the Garmin Oregon 600. These are all handheld, outdoor, waterproof GPS units and they all have color touch screens. The Monterra runs on the Android operating system while the Montana and the Oregon do not. Before I go any further, I do want to point out that the screen on the Montana is, you kind have that pulsing look to it. That is because of the camera and the settings that we're using, so when you use the Montana in real life it's not going to look quite like that. What I want to do is go through the same settings and features on all three of these units and show you how they operate a little bit differently. First thing we're going to take a look at is the track log, how to turn the track log recording on or off. The way that you do this on the Montana is you're going to open up the drawer, go to setup, select tracks, and then select track log, the first one in the list. It's going to be similar on the Oregon. You'll open up the drawer and then you're going to select current track. And you have that large pause button there in the middle. You can just select that to turn the recording on or off. A little bit different on the Monterra. The analogous screen would be the app screen here, but that's not where you're going to go for your track log. What you're actually going to do is go to this three bar menu in the lower right, select system settings, and then up toward the top under the Garmin heading select tracks and then recording which you can turn on or off. Next I want to show you GLONASS. The Montana actually does not have this feature so this is just going to be with the Montera and the Oregon. So on the Oregon what you'll do is open up the drawer, go to setup, then system, and then satellite system and here you can turn GLONASS on or off. GPS, GPS and GLONASS and demo mode. On the Montera, again, you're not going to go through the app screen, you're going to go through the three bar menu and go to system settings. Scroll down in this menu a little bit underneath personal, you're going to go to location services and here you have GPS satellites and GLONASS. So a lot of the functions and the abilities are going to be similar between these three units, but if you've used a lot of garments in the past, these settings aren't exactly where you would expect them to be from previous units. Let's take a look at how to adjust the screen brightness. On the Montana, all you need to do is tap the power button and it's going to bring you to this screen and you can move that slider bar around. Same on the Oregon, just tap the power button once and it's going to bring you to a very similar screen. Montera, again, is a little bit different. Three bar menu, go to system settings, scroll up here underneath device, and then go to display and brightness. Now I do want to point out about the brightness of the screens here. The Montana and the Oregon have their brightness turned up almost all the way and the Montera actually has its brightness level set to about the middle and you can see there that there is quite a difference between these uh, three screens. The Montera does stand out a bit over the other two. Finally, here's a look at the compass, and this is one that's actually just about identical between all three. You have the compass down there at the bottom, and you have those four data fields along the top, and you can actually select any one of those fields and customize the information that is going to be displayed. So again, a lot of these features are going to be the same between these three units, or at least similar, but you just end up getting to them in different ways. Let's look at some of the physical differences between these units, starting with the screen size. The Oregon 600 has a 3-inch screen measured on the diagonal. Both the Montera and the Montana have a 4-inch screen on the diagonal. Montera does appear to have a larger screen, but it doesn't. It only looks that way because it is a taller GPS and because it has a lowered bezel. Montana has a raised bezel. Uh, as I mentioned, Montera is a little bit taller. It's 5.9 inches tall, 5.7 for the Montana, and 4.5 for the Oregon. The Oregon 600 is 2.4 inches wide. The Montera and the Montana are 2.9 inches wide. And then finally, you have the depth. The Oregon, 1.3 inches. The Montera and the Montana are again identical at 1.4 inches. Because the Montana and the Montera are so similar in size, they are going to use a lot of the the same mounts. The Garmin mounts for the Montana will work with the Montera, but the RAM mounts will not. Let's take a look at these screens in the direct sunlight. Here's the Montera on the left, and we have the Montana on the right. I've actually loaded up both of these units with 100k US topo maps. Here it is next to the Oregon 600, and while the Oregon does have a smaller screen, it's also going to be the closest thing you can get to the Montera in terms of screen composition. So that is a quick look at some of the similarities and differences between the Garmin Montana, the Oregon 600 series, and the Garmin Montera.